Okay, this is part five, but it's really just like a quick bonus uh, episode or video on how to get the wand into Harry's hand, okay? So, like we did before, we can just go to model resource, and uh, if we type in Harry Potter for search, it'll come up with all the Harry Potter assets, and one of them is a wand. Uh, so, if we just find the wand... Uh, I'm sure there is a wand. I'm sure I saw one. There we go. Right. So we've got two, three. Uh, no, that's not a wand. This one. I'm going to go for this one. Uh, so what we do is we just go to download zip archive here, and it's just going to download it. We don't have to log in or anything like that. This website, this website, this website is brilliant. But obviously, you can't use anything here for commercial purposes, just for education purposes or just for fun. Okay, so drag out that onto your desktop, right click on it, and then you want to extract the files. Now, these don't always contain files that you can use. Sometimes they're weird files that you have no clue what they are. Um, and let's see, usually Nintendo stuff, to be honest with you. It's like, okay, what's that? Harry's Wand. And what do we have? We have an OBJ, which is good, which is probably... Or we have an FBX or an OBJ. So um, let's just try and get this in. So we'll try dragging the OBJ for a start, see if that works. Um, let me just give myself some space. Let's see. Might be best to drag in... So we don't, yeah, import all, see what happens. Wand. Okay, we got it. Right. So now we've got the wand, and I believe it brought in a material for it as well. Now we can add this to Harry, okay? So um, what we need to do is open up his skeletal asset. So open up his skeleton. Go to his skeleton tree. Now the bone names are reversed. So this is actually left hand and this is right hand, which is the wrong way around. So if you click on right hand, it'll go here. So we want left hand. So just remember that, that it's been messed up. Right click, um, add a socket. It's huge. We're going to call this socket wand location. Okay. And then we're going to make it much, much smaller. Oops, if you lose it, you can just click on it again, make it smaller. I'm going to turn off the snapping, so I can just make it really small, like that. Now, we might have to scale that up or down more when we add the asset. So, right-click on the one location, and we want to add a preview asset, and it's Harry's wand. As you can see, it's huge compared to harry so we are going to have to scale it down a lot more Oops. make sure you grab the box in the middle and that will scale it down uniformly um i can't see it now <laughs> okay that went right now, of course what we could do is bring this into blender and just make it smaller that might be a good idea, but I'm just going to show you how we can use it like this anyway. So make it small like that, and then make it smaller again in increments. We don't want it to reverse, so make sure that doesn't happen. Now, it's only so small this can actually go. Uh, I don't think we can set the size now. So we might have a bit of an, oh, oops, a bit of an overly sized wand for a little bit. That doesn't sound right. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Still a little too large, but we can... Uh, it's not too bad, actually. Okay, place that in his hand. Okay, so that's the location. It's not actually attached yet. We've got to minimize this. Open up our blueprint. Go to the viewport. Um, and then click on Harry so that this mesh inherited is selected so it's yellow and then add a scene component and then that scene component will become the child of the mesh which is what we want call that wand location 
Now, the reason we want it to be a child of the mesh is because if it is, we can come over here and search for all of the bones and sockets, and we've got wand location there. You'll see that pop straight into his hand. And then if we go to, with wand location selected, go to static mesh, add a static mesh that's inherited to the wand location, and make that the wand... That's going to pop straight into his hand okay and we hit compile we now have the wand in his hand and if we press run and there we go okay so later on we will um, make some spells or we will make some animations of him casting spells and we will add that uh, in and I'll probably also bring that wand into Blender and do a bit of resizing so that it's not so big. But to be honest with you, it doesn't look too bad. It's definitely readable, and that's what we want. Okay, so like I said, a little bit of a bonus episode there. I'm not going to uh, bang on too long. That is how you can add a quickly add um, the, the wand to the hand, and we'll get on with the animations for the attacks in the next video. Okay, I'll catch up with you in the next one.